Good morning, my lovely little ghosts, and welcome to the Dark Orchard. I'm Laura, and this is a scream video. As I said in my intro, this is a scream video. More specifically, today I'm going to be trying Judy Hicks's Lemon Squares. Let me do some prefacing. So first off, Scream comes out this Friday. The, as of the making of this video, Scream comes out January 14th, 2022. And in preparation for that, they've been doing a lot of social media posts, hyping it up real big. One of the social media posts was Judy Hicks's Lemon Squares. They had a baker go back and edit the Judy Hicks Lemon Squares. Because if you've seen the screen with Judy Hicks in it, you know her lemon squares aren't exactly tasty. But I'm going to take that recipe and I'm going to try to make the lemon squares to the best of my abilities. So I'm not the greatest at following instructions, but we're going to give it a try. In this bowl, I have two cups of flour, a half cup of granulated sugar, and a little bit of salt and two sticks of butter. It was aggressive. So that's all for the filling, I believe. Is that all for the filling? No, I need two, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So two thirds of a tablespoon. That seems like a lot of vanilla extract, but I love vanilla extract, so we're good with that. So now I've got to hook up my mixer, because I forgot to do that. Now it says to use a stand mixer or a hand mixer on a low setting. But if you've seen any of my baking videos, you know my mixer doesn't have a low setting. My mixer goes from zero to insane. So we're gonna mix it on insane and hope it doesn't over mix. I think I've made a mockery of the baking gods one too many times, and they are not smiling down on me today. <laughs> I <ain't> Caroline. <laughs> it looks like a hot mess. It's very clumpy and very dry and I don't know if that's right it's very clump but it does it, it's it's clump it's like play-doh like when you know how when you can make your own play-doh or like oobleck it, it has the consistency of like oobleck I don't think I did it right. I'm gonna keep mixing. Did I do it right? So for the crust, combine flour, sugar, and salt, which I did, and I mixed it around with my knife because why mix all those powders together? And then with your mixer, soften butter, vanilla extract, no mayo. Mix until combined. And then we're gonna dump the crumbly mess. Line a glass baking sheet with parchment paper. Don't have parchment paper. Um, use your fingers to press an even layer. Okay, so that I was doing great. We're gonna need the oven preheated to 350. Butter should do the magic thing that butter does and melt. And then you put it in the oven for 25 minutes. I'm gonna go clean up and chill for 25 minutes and I should get my filling done. I'm still gonna clean up though, at least wash my hands because I've got buttery hands. Alrighty, for the filling. Oh, I need lemons. So the ingredients for the filling. One cup of lemon juice Judy said from a bottle, but Dawn corrected and said squeezed from four to five lemons. Judy said 16 large eggs, but I need six large eggs. 
two one-fourth cups of granulated sugar, a half cup of all-purpose flour. Um, I guess we need to get cracking on six eggs. So I'm just going to wait here until somebody hands me six eggs. It says six eggs. Let's cut it in half. Let's do three. So to half this recipe, I guess I only do one cup of sugar. I'm halving the recipe in case I forgot to say that. Last minute decision, halving the recipe. And what's half of a fourth? Just half of what I have here. That works. So I used three eggs instead of six eggs. I'm having the recipe. So just half everything that I've said previously. So the next is the flour. It says I need a half a cup of flour, so I need a half of a half a cup. One fourth cup of flour. So all of that's in here, just kind of stewing in its own juices. So now I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to squeeze the juice out of three lemons. So now we saw them open. One. Two. Three. Whew. I'm going to attempt to use this thing to squeeze. Ooh, it's working, it's working. Uh. Then you just like squeeze its guts out. It's a good thing my hands are all dry and cracked from using so much hand sanitizer or else this would be really painful. Wait, but I want to know how Judy Hicks squeezed not three but 16 lemons. Oh wait, Judy didn't squeeze lemons. Judy used lemon juice from a bottle and then Dawn corrected it and said from four to five squashed lemons. Fresh lemons. Judy used it from a bottle. I could have used it from a bottle. Judy and I are kindred spirits and I think her son's going to be the killer. Anywho, lemon juice, eggs, granulated sugar, and flour. That's all you need for the middle filling. That's all you need for the filling. So I've got it. Let me plug this in and mix. So I always thought the yellow for the lemon squares came from the lemons, but it comes from the egg. I've been deceived. My whole life is a lie. Alrighty. I baked the crust doing that. Whisk the eggs medium, blah, blah, blah. Didn't follow these instructions at all. Oops. Uh, let's look over this. Um, whisk the eggs in a medium bowl. Add the rest of the filling. Okay, I kind of did that. Whisk till it's lump free. Whisk till it's lump free. I did that. Um, pour the filling over the crust once it's baked. Allow to cool at room temperature for a couple of hours, then refrigerate for an hour. And then Judy says, optional, dust with a generous amount of fine salt, but Dawn put a note, do not do this, use powdered sugar. I mean, salt and lemons, it kind of makes sense. And then cut into squares and enjoy. I almost said, I smell lemon. <laughs> Crusty. Alrighty, I have my hot piping hot crust. Hot piping hot, gotta say it twice, cause it is hot. And my filling. And I'm just going to pour my filling in. Oh, it's so hot. I've gone completely off book. I didn't even look at the instructions. Pour the filling over the crust. Bake for 25 minutes until the center is set. Allow to cool for two hours then refrigerate. So, bake for 25 minutes. I missed that part the first time. <laughs> yes, you bake. Alrighty, I got it out of the oven after 25 minutes, just like the recipe said, and it burnt. I didn't really watch it because I was like, what could go wrong, and it burnt. It burnt on the sides. It's kind of hard. In true Judy Hicks fashion, we're going to cut them and serve them anyway. 
I don't have one of those fancy little powdered sugar dusty things, so I'm just gonna sprinkle it on top. And look, if you put enough powdered sugar on it, you can't even tell it's burnt. So now I'm gonna cut into it. Oh, it kind of cuts smooth. Okay, that part doesn't cut smooth. But a lot of it does. What does that smell? Is that these? Oh, I hope it's not these. I have this. I smell a smell. I smell a strong smell. <laughs> oh gosh, please don't let that smell be these. <laughs> it's these. They stink. <laughs> I'm going to scoop it out. <laughs> I grabbed one of the ones from the middle because it seemed the safest. <laughs> I don't like the way that smells. Okay, it's really stinky. <laughs> I can't describe the smell. Kind of like pennies. Gonna taste it. I'm afraid to taste it, but I'm gonna taste it. It's not bad, but it's not good. Mmm. <laughs> I don't know what I did wrong, <laughs> but I can see why everyone hated Judy's if they tasted anything like this. And I didn't even do the mayonnaise and stuff. I did the fixed version. So if by chance, <laughs> Dawn of Delicious or Dawn of Deliciousness sees this video. Tell me what I did wrong. <laughs> I thought I followed it mostly like it said. It is a square and it tastes like lemon. But there's something under it. I don't know. There's something about it I'm not a fan of. It, do it has a savory smell. Like roasted ham. <laughs> it smells like roasted ham. <laughs> okay, well, that was me attempting to make the fixed version of Judy Hicks's lemon square recipe, but I think I lard it up enough that I still made a Judy Hicks lemon square. <laughs> so that was me trying to make the Judy Hicks lemon squares, <laughs> making a mess in the kitchen. I'm not even sure how much of that that you're going to be able to see because as I was filming it, it kept showing that I had errors. I repeated myself a whole bunch, but I don't know what stuck and what didn't stick. Like I said in the video, it was an odd flavor, and I know I did something wrong, but I just can't pinpoint what I did wrong. <laughs> I think I just lard it up enough that I made it really bad Laura lemon squares, but hey, can't win them all. But anywho, I'm super excited for Scream. I probably won't be going to the theater to see it because people and tight spaces and I hate theaters but I will eventually get to see it and I'm super excited about it and I'm gonna be blocking all the spoilers that I can possibly think of like all the keywords until I do get to see it because sadly it's not coming to video on demand when it's released as far as we know right now but I will see it I've heard really amazing things from people that worked on the film and I just I'm so excited so excited to actually see it as you know, Scream is my legit favorite franchise. I have theorized about this movie for a long time now, and I'm just going to put out my final theories, so if you don't want to hear my theories, skip ahead a little bit. My theory is Wes is going to be a killer, and either Dewey or Judy is going to be the second ghost face. It's just... It's where my brain went as I was dissecting the trailer and the background stories between all of them. I just, I think that's the direction it's going to go. But 
it may be too obvious and they go a completely different direction. I don't know. We've just got a few days to find out. But that's my pre-film prediction. So with that being said, tell me what your prediction for Scream 5 is down in the description. And if the movie's already come out and you've seen Scream 5 already, tell me who your favorite character was. And if you don't talk to me about that, just talk to me about something because I'd love for you to talk to me down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you come around again soon. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Judy Hicks's lemon squares taste like ass. <laughs>